Hi guys, it's Ash here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use your Android device, a phone or a tablet as a secondary monitor or a secondary, secondary display for your Windows PC. So the requirements here is that your Android device needs to be running Android 2.2 that is Froyo or higher uh, and your Windows PC needs to be running XP or, XP or Vista 32 bit only and Windows 7 uh, both 32 and 64 bit supported. The Android device needs to be on the same uh, local area network or the Wi-Fi network as the PC or laptop being used. Alright, the first thing you do is go to Play Store and uh, get this app called uh, Screen, Sli Screen Slider. It costs 99 cents so just get it, get it uh, downloaded. And search for the we website and go to Redfly Screen Slider. And over here, you can select products and screen slider and download. Once you've downloaded it, just install it and you will have this screen slider icon, icon on your desktop. So now moving back to the phone. So this is my GS3. Just hit screen slider. Once it opens up, leave it as it is. Uh, you might be asked to enter a name here. I've, in, I've entered it as S3. You can enter any device name you want and leave it as it is. So now, if in your uh, system tray, you will find an icon here that says Red Fly Screen Slider. Right click on it and uh, hit Find Devices. And you will find your device here. Double click it. So, right All now, right. as you guys can see, you've got the desktop mirrored on the phone. and. Uh, everything works uh, guys anyway any a, any audio you play will be played out through the PC speakers and not the uh, Android devices and uh, there, you do not get touch and touch functionality by default for that you need to upgrade to the pro version uh, just test it out the pro version is the uh, it's a free day free 30 day trial so you can just test it out so guys one more thing is uh, if you're gonna be mirroring your desktop onto your Android device make sure the display is not I mean the resolution is not more than 1280 to 768 settings and uh, you can enable the mirror desktop and you can select it as either side extendable and hit OK. It's enough. Right click and just select it. It'll go black for a moment there, and then it'll come back up. And now this is an extended desktop, so as you can see, I mean, let me just let me just move it a little. So say for example, I have Google Chrome open. Google Chrome. So that's pretty neat. Now, uh, so guys, uh, it's four ninety nine for the pro version. So the what the pro version will give you is mainly touch sensitivity. So right now, again, going in here, right clicking, settings, and selecting mirror desktop would mean that your desktop is going to be mirrored on the phone right now. So as you guys can see, so over here you can just use your finger as the mouse. You can click, double click, right click, and so on. Uh, just hitting on menu and more and you'll find view multi-touch gestures it'll give you everything that that you need to know tapping is for left click holding is for right click dragging is window scroll pinching to zoom and so on so tapping and holding and that's the right click and I can I can double tap and move something around. So guys, as far as videos go, they do play. So just to show you, opening it up. But as you can see, okay, let me just reduce the volume. 
the audio playback is from the PC or laptop only and uh, you can see some frame rate issues over here uh, that's pretty much it so that's pretty much it guys for setting up your Android device as a extended monitor or mirroring your PC or laptop to the Android to your Android device if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or email me directly all my contact details are in the description uh, before you go guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and uh, if you guys want to do me a favor use my links to Amazon in the description and uh, if there is anything you want to purchase online doesn't necessarily have to be smartphone related stuff go through the links use the search bar uh, order whatever you want. I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks on every order placed. So, uh, hope you guys can help me out. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay subscribed, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.